You okay? I don't need anyone walking me home. Hey, we were talking about me, not tonight anyway. I guess. And you can quit worrying about what he's gonna think. Not the point, Tom. He treats me like a kid sometimes. Hey, I get it. He's protective. He's seen things. We've all seen things. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Stealing food. Hey, I cook it, so I get to say where it goes. Ollie won't thank you. Well, maybe tomorrow's finally going to be the day he fixes his own breakfast. We're currently um, walking Sarah back to her apartment. Could you knock on the door? Only got so many hands here. Well, I mean, you could put it down and uh, knock on the door yourself, but... Oh, Christ, Tom, knock. For Pete's sake. Nobody's home. Sarah! That for me? Yeah, though it's not as much as last time. It's enough. Nona thinks you're an angel. The Don hates seeing food go to waste. And this? This has got to be Tammy. Sarah told us all about you. That right. You're a famous race driver, Tom. Everyone talks about you. Yeah, she's right. They do. Well, anyways, don't let the cold in, Juliet. I'll see you at church. All right. Have a great evening. Night. Buena noche, Tommy. Hey, Mama. Your angel Sarah brought more food. All right. I guess that wasn't our apartment. It's nice you do that. That? Well, a lot of hungry people on this block. Yeah. Well... It's uh, it's a good night for a walk anyway. Don't get yourself killed on my account, Tom. I try to avoid it. That's all you got? You spend all this time with a lady killer like Sam Trapani, and the best line you got is good night for a walk anyways? <laughs> well, it is, ain't it? Yeah, I guess so. She, uh... Flowers for the lady, signore? Nah, we're good. Now I don't get flowers? When you let me take you on a real date and not some walk home for Luigi, then you get the flowers. Eh, that could happen. If Pop's not gonna stop me seeing one of you, I think he knows anyway. Luigi? Nah. These guys have been creeps to me for weeks. But I didn't tell you as I know what you like. I mentioned it to Dad this one time, and all of a sudden he gets you to be my knight in shining armor. So yeah, he knows. Huh. Well, like I say, means there's no problem with me. If he did, you wouldn't last long. I know what happened to all the other guys I dated. I helped hide the bodies. Ah, so now we are... I've been trying to keep you safe, Tommy Angelo. All this time. Hey, let's go someplace. Tomorrow night, maybe. The pictures, maybe. You can get your flowers. That'd be good. Oh! Hey there, darling! Are you stepping out on us? Piss off. <laughs> Don't cast the kitten, doll face. We'll let your boyfriend watch. What do you say? We going to have trouble here. Trouble started back when you tried to steal our girl, Chief. You saps aren't careful. You'll end up in wooden overcoats. <laughs> Last chance to walk away. We ain't frails. We know who you work for. Salieri might have been the big six when he was younger, but he's all washed up now. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time before Morello punches his ticket. <laughs> I don't need Salieri. Or anyone else. Not for this. <laughs> well... <laughs> then let's see what you got, cake eater. Mm. All right, here we go. You're some kind of dish, ain't you? Get away from me! Twist like you was greased in a freezer. Those pins go on. Hey! You even touch 
I mean, they're, um... <coughs> oh. They're not much competition. <laughs> oh, wrong button. On a way. There we go. Who's he think he is? Who's he think he is? Right, where does she Get go? Away from me. Get away from me! No! Hey! Come on then. Hope you're better than your friends. That's what I got, you son of a bitch. All right, we'll uh, pick this baseball bat up. You got a good right hook. I'll give you that. You're bleeding. Come up to my place. I'll take a look. Well, you gonna come in and take a load off, or what? I'm wondering when you'd invite me up. The bank's closed, slugger. I'm just gonna patch you up, is all. Now go sit down on the couch, roll up your sleeve. I'm getting my sewing kit. Doesn't look too bad. You need something for the pain? No, I'm fine. You don't have to do that. What? I can see it fucking hurts, Tom. You want to pretend it don't go ask Polly to staple you up. What do you get? Compliments of the Dan. <laughs> Take another. All right, you're gonna grin and bear this? Yeah, I'll be okay. Good, because I don't need the little old lady next door complaining to the super about all the racket. Just be quick about it, will ya? It's gonna take as long as it takes. The sloppier the stitch, the uglier the scar. They're right. You stitched up a lot of fellas. Just my father. Ma would really go after Luigi sometimes. He got pretty good at ducking dinner plates. So one day she stabbed him with her knitting needle. Right through the hand. What for? Cause... She was an ugly... Jealous drunk. There. Not my best work, but... It'll hold. The scar would be something to remember you by, if nothing else. <laughs> You're staying over. Can't have you stumbling through the neighborhood pie-eyed. Not when them hoods are out looking for you anyways. Yeah, okay. You got an extra blanket or something? No. And the heat's out. Myself, though. All 
All right, chapter complete. Better get used to it. This can't stand. Sarah's okay, boss. I took care of it. She started working here before she could see over the bar. I don't have a daughter of my own, Tom. I'd do anything for Luigi's little girl. So would I. We all would. That's right, boss. Anything for Luigi and Sarah. Do those bastards think this is fucking Luna Park or something? I'll rip them apart with my own hands. Our business is protection. But who's gonna pay up when they learn we can't even protect one of our own as she walks home from work? So what do you want us to do? Teach these boys a lesson. Break every bone in their bodies, put them in wheelchairs, bust their faces up so bad, even their mothers can't look at them without screaming. We know where they're holed up. My friend on the force says we should start looking in the Chinatown. Then Big Biff will know something. Tommy, go to Vinny, get us some gear. Meet me at Biff's place. Yeah, okay. Leave these punks laying in the street. I want everyone to know we do not allow mad dogs to run wild in our neighborhood. You got it, boss. Some of these sons of bitches could still be on our turf. I'll check the neighborhood. Make sure they're gone while you see Biff. Good hunt. Yeah, same. Okay, so when you're done with Vinny, come find me in Chinatown. Sure. Let's go bust some heads. All right, so it looks like we're going to war. <laughs> if I were a younger man, these uh, men. I guess I'm not going out that door. Throw to slit. Food for fish. We'll teach him respect. Don't worry. But you I never worry. You're gonna want food, Tom? Do not no. The Don's got a job for me someplace out of town. Not anymore. Don't worry about it. It'll keep till you're back. How do I get out? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hey, here for some heaters, Tom. Nah, I'm already going and healed. Paulie and me, we gotta give a beating to some punks who've been on our turf. I don't want to pull this and piss in our own street. There's something to bust heads. That's all we need. Sam turned over some guy's warehouse and, uh... Autographed by Babe Ruth himself, the guy said. I mean, it's horse shit, but... They bust heads. Your punks won't have time for questions. Not at all. Thanks, Vinny. So he's still not giving us the shotguns. Ah. Um. Switch variant. Oh. Now we'll take the convertible. Why not? Do you have in style? All right, so we need to um, meet Paulie in Chinatown. Well, the rain makes the uh, handling a lot worse. <laughs> we'll get there. Come on. There we go. Nice spot here just for us. Well, the interior is probably completely soaked now, but it was worth it. <laughs> Come on, I'm wet through. Why Biff moved into this dump, I'll never know. Give him a break. He's in love. 
Ah, he caught yellow fever the time we boosted the Shanghai skin flex. Well, I like her anyways. Problem with you, Tom, you always soft with the dames. The butchers. Biff, you fat bastard. How you doing? Dogface, great to see you. Call her off, Biff. We got business. Upstairs, please. So, what's the beef? I need some information. Got some jokers causing trouble. They mess with Luigi's daughter. Plenty of hoods around. You got any more? One of them's a weasel named Billy. Pals with a prissy chump and a bruiser with a bald head. Right, right, I know them. They're set up in the old service station a block over. They hock some gear every now and then, in small time. <laughs> That's why I need to come to you, Biff. You're good with small time. Out the back, cross the street. You'll find them there. Thanks. See you around. Hey, Polly. Uh, about that dough? Relax, just waiting for my guy to come through. It'll be next week. Just sit tight. All right, find out where the gangs hang out. What was that back there? You and Biff got something going on. Guy I know is bringing in a shipment of suits. Classy ones, Mexican. You getting suits from Mexico? No, idiot. The suits are boosted from a lockup downtown. The tailor is from Mexico. Originally, anyways, he lives in Holbrook. Did Don know about this? Yeah, yeah, I'll get his cut. You just keep this under your hat. I guess I heard nothing. You gonna know these punks when you see them? Yeah. Though, I guess if I don't, all we gotta do is find the other guys in Chinatown who look like we do. There it is. Here's how we do this. I walk in and start beating people. I do the same. No shooters. You take long thinking that one up. Nah, this plane gets used a lot. I think we gotta go in through the side. Well, if they shoot at me, I'm shooting back. I don't think a baseball bat's going to stop us from getting shot, is it? knife up that uh, he dropped yes I can there we go come on then over the fence Tom before they get away don't let him get Billy get your ass behind you something you got some coming out of there you're gonna die here you know that get your gas Tom we made it serious you think I need telling I go north you go south what I go up you go through there Okay, sure. All right. Might end up dying. <laughs> Need some sort of med kit. Come on, you punks! That's one way of doing that. <laughs> Clear a path to Billy Tom. We get to that pump for all the other pumps. Take them down. I should have finished you last. I'm doing good, Strider. 
All right. Um, I don't think there is any med kits anywhere. Ah, how convenient. Thank you. Hey, you can patch yourself up over there. Too late, I've already done it. I don't need to, Polly. Tommy, look out! Johnny, get down! Oh, come on, come on! Get out of here! Shit, we gotta get to a car, Tom! Scram! This one's a nice car. <laughs> I'm reloading. Handles like a boat, though. Go careful, Tom. The road's a river. Don't worry, I got this. They called in the rest of their crew. You ever seen guys piss their pants this quick? If you look through the rain, you can see it dripping out the back of their car. Gotta reload! You sleeping at the wheel? It is raining. Try not run any of these over. Ah, watch out, watch out. That was close. <laughs> We cleaned them out! Gotta reload! Come on! Come on. They ever set eyes on Sarah, huh? Oh, I've got one bullet left. That's all of them. Dumb son of a bitch just wrecked himself. Well, they're not walking away from that. I want to pop and pop. No. No, no, wait. Please. Please, I don't want to fucking die, man. Christ, Tom. You can't feel sorry for these animals. A guy like this would plug you if you give him the chance. You gotta pull the trigger without thinking. I'm out. This one's finished too. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> mm. Oh Christ, Tom. Snap out of it. You remember what those guys wanted to do to Sarah? Yeah, just, uh... Hey, let's get out of here before the bulls show up, huh? <laughs> Simple straight. Oh. I 
can't afford this life no more. Just getting lucky. I'll give you a chance to win your money back. You want in, boss? We have business to discuss, Paulie. We're in it now, boys. One of our associates at the coroner's office sent this over. Corpse's name is Giolotti. You recognize him? Sure. That's one of the punks we ran out of the neighborhood. Now he got the bullet in the back of his head? Yeah. We capped him. Well, the cops ought to thank us. We did him a favor. The guy was a rapist, boss. Yeah? Well, he was also a city councilor's son. You want to drive a politician into Morella's arms? There's no better way than killing off his family. Oh, Christ. That gets worse. You left another guy in the wreck? Yeah, but he was dead when we got there. You gonna tell me he was the president's nephew or something? Two in the head, Paulie. If you're gonna do a job, do it right. He made it? Yes. He spent the week in St. Mary's, but he pulled through. <sighs> Can he point a finger at either of you? I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Look, we're gonna kill two birds with one blast. Galati's funeral's today at St. Michael's. Sam, you're gonna attend. Sit in the back and try to spot the lucky bastard. How will I recognize him? He'll be the one who just crawled away from a car wreck. His arm is broken. Look for a sling. Sam's gonna need a little distraction if he's gonna clean up your mess. He's sending Tommy to dip his wick? Is it brothel? A gentleman's club, just down the street from St. Michael's. The Don has invested a lot of money in it over the years. So, me and Sam. Regardless, the owner has suddenly decided to do business with Morello instead of us. You want me to go remind him of his obligations? Yes. Then blow the place up. What? Morello wants to take businesses away from us? He'll inherit craters. Look, Tom, we can send Paulie and Sam since all the ladies know them already. They'd never make it through the front door. But you can walk right in. Okay. What about the manager? Take care of him wherever you find him. If any of the horse see it, well, it'll be a warning. Once he's out of the way, head to his office on the top floor. Grab any documents and money you find there and place the explosives. Vincenzo will see that you have what you need. And you think the blast will be big enough to give me cover? Yeah. But be smart. Only take a shot if you know you won't get made. Tommy, one more thing. One of the girls is passing Morello information about our operations. Before you blow the place, you'll need to take care of her, too. You want Tommy to kill a twist? Come on, Frank. It's just bad luck this falls to Tom. But we gotta protect the family. Her name is Michelle. She's usually working one of the upper rooms. Her photo is in the folder. You boys clear on everything? Yeah. Tom. I got it, boss. Then get it done. 